We all know that the easiest way to find Warzone bot lobbies is to simply start playing on a new account, but there's always space for improvement. You can get more consistent bot lobbies using the best VPN for Warzone. And I'm gonna show it to you alongside some of my personal favorite VPN recommendations. So let's get started. I'll use my go-to VPN for Warzone, NordVPN, and with it, I'm gonna show you how to get bot lobbies in Warzone 3.0. If you wanna follow my steps from start to end, you should begin by downloading and installing the VPN app. I already have a subscription, but if you guys wanna try, grab a NordVPN discount from the description. It's no obligation, thanks to the 30 day money back guarantee. And once you have the app, time to open it and choose a server. NordVPN offers a lot of them, so you always have a good choice. But the trick is to choose the best VPN location for Warzone, which will be any country with a very different time zone. If you're playing through the evening, look for a European country that has more than six or seven hours difference from the US. This way you can get a Warzone 3 bot lobby because there are just gonna be way fewer players online making those lobbies more frequent. The earlier you play, the further the server is gonna to have to be, but keep in mind that if you want a server with more than 10 hours difference, like Japan, you're gonna to have to have a slower speed and more ping with any VPN. That said, I use NordVPN for Warzone because it does have one of the best performances on the market and I can still have a decent connection to Japan Hey, enough to beat a bunch of bots. Now, once you choose a server, connect to it, double click the country on the list or this interactive map. Keep in mind that it's gonna be saved in the recent servers panel, so you're not gonna have to search for it again next time. So launch the game and you should now see that the game's location matches with the chosen server location. That's how to use NordVPN for Warzone. Simple, right? While it might seem that I just use NordVPN to change my location, there's more to it. The NordVPN Warzone experience is also completely safe as the VPN encrypts my connection, preventing third-party access and also masks my IP with a different one. This is especially crucial for any gaming content creator or streamer. No DDoS attacks, tracking attempts, or IP bans are gonna go through this kind of protection. And NordVPN itself cares a lot about the privacy of users like me and you, it's actually passed a lot of audits proving the legitimacy of its no logs policy. But NordVPN is not the only VPN for Warzone that works great with Warzone 3.0. If you're looking for the best blend of price and spice, Surfshark VPN is right there with the greatest. Speed wise, Surfshark is only a tiny bit slower than NordVPN and even that barely made a difference during my tests. Here's me playing Warzone 3.0 with the Surfshark UK server. And as you could see, I didn't experience any significant stutters or speed drops. It's all consistent. The biggest upside though is the affordability factor. Surfshark is not only cheaper than NordVPN, but it also offers a built-in antivirus if you put just a little bit more on top. Another popular VPN for online games is ProtonVPN. This one has almost as many servers as Surfshark in terms of security. Proton VPN pretty much mirrors Surfshark with the same kind of encryption, DDoS, and leak protection. But speed-wise, it sometimes gets even faster thanks to the VPN accelerator feature that does boost speeds significantly. In my experience, Proton VPN is also a great VPN for ping on most European servers, all while remaining a pretty affordable option. As I've mentioned before with NordVPN, these best VPN for Warzone options can be used for more than just gaming. For instance, providers with lots of servers and big country coverage are the best way to access regionally blocked streaming content. All the VPN security also serves well to get a safe torrenting experience or to protect yourself from malware and malicious links. Besides, all the VPNs I've mentioned support router connections. This makes it super easy to use VPN with smart TVs or even consoles in case you wanna bring your Warzone exploits there. And just a reminder, you can get a great discount on all VPNs in this video by clicking this link in the description below. Okay, at the end of the day, getting a bot lobby in Warzone is just a matter of getting a good VPN and choosing a proper location to connect to. 
as long as you use a FastVPN provider like NordVPN, Surfshark, or ProtonVPN, not only will you preserve a good ping in your bot lobbies, but also protect yourself from tracking DDoS attacks or other third-party involvement. But hey, what's your Warzone 3.0 experience? Let me know in the comments below, and remember to leave a like and a subscribe while you're down there. Thanks for watching. See you soon.